parents and students, welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at the curtain raiser. So let's first get our hands into a proper position. So our right hand is going to play on C, but not middle C. We're going to go up an octave to this C right here. Our left hand thumb is going to go down on middle C. So let's just quickly go through the right hand, and then we'll talk about the left hand part. The right hand's going to go C, 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 G, E, C, D, 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 G, F, D, E, 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 C, D, 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 G, E, E, D, D, C. Uh, the finger numbers are written in, so I just gave you guys the notes instead of the uh, like one 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 five three one. Uh, left hand, it's really just going back and forth between the first finger as a whole note, second finger as a whole note, and then on the second line we do get the fourth finger as a half note. So um, if we're playing the left hand with it, we're going to start here with the C. We're going to hold it down the whole time, and then play it again there. sounds weird with that two and the four there, but that is correct. And then it resolves right there. Here's where we have these half notes in the left hand. Four. And then we end with just one more C on the left hand. So everything all together should sound like this. the curtain raiser.